Good morning, folks. I have something a little different. Now, does this still falls into the collectibles category? That's why I'm talking about it. And if you thought your hobby was expensive, you ain't seen nothing yet. Now, I am dabbling a little bit into trading cards. However, I can never see myself getting this much into it. As a matter of fact, I'm only doing it to try to get some of the trading card crowd to my channel. I'm not a, a hardcore trading card collector. The last time I was serious about trading cards was back in the 90s when the comic company started putting out trading cards. Prior to that, it was like the 70s when there was a certain candy, I can't remember the name of it, where they had little little trading cards inside. All right. But that that's it. That's the extent of my trading card experience. And I will admit that I don't keep up with it. I am not a, I believe, okay, I am not a Magic the Gathering fan at all. Know nothing about it. So maybe I'm the only one who's in the dark. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and just show you the price of this card because I I just don't understand some things. And this is one of them right here. Look at this. This is the Alpha Black Lotus Alpha Power 9 graded it's trading card. I get I don't know. All right, hold on one minute. I'm at work and my boss just pulled up, but we will continue this discussion. <laughs> this is just crazy. And I hope you notice that price right there. Just just let that sink in. I'll be back. And I'm back. And of course, I do not remember where I left off. But let me start here. This price. I'm going to... I came across a channel... There's this guy, he talks about investments all the time. Can't remember the name of the channel. Don't want to try to find it now because I'll screw something up with my recording. But uh, if you're interested, let me know. I'll try to find his his channel and put his information on here. He's an interesting guy. And he speaks... He he talks about comics, collecting, all, all any type of collectibles and antiques. That's his thing. And I believe he has a financial background with this. So he speaks from a point, an objective point of view. Let me put it that way. I've always had thoughts and opinions on some of the collectability, in air quotes, of some items. And this guy kind of confirms my thoughts. And I'll probably start talking more about that as I learn more about it from him. Seems like a pretty smart guy. Anyway, let's uh, let's look more at this. And if you are a Magic the Gathering fan, you already know about this stuff, so it's nothing new to you, but this just blows my mind. It's a card. It's 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 a card. Okay. <laughs> I never I never put a lot of stock into trading cards, and it has always amazed me that you can have a, a a card that's worth thousands of dollars but i've never seen a card that someone that and somebody bought this by the way it, somebody bought this so that is paid for somebody paid over one hundred and thirty two thousand dollars for a card a piece of paper i i've been into comics most of my life and that was my thing i understood comics I understood the value of comics. Okay, that's that's a story for an, another day. That's say, let's save that for another video. But I just want to bring this to your attention. And if you <laughs> if you own this card, I want to be your friend. All right, <laughs> we can we can hang out. You can hang out. <laughs> but this just this blows my mind. I saw this and I just wanted to make a video of it. This is just incredible, folks. I mean. Maybe I should have went into the trading card hobby instead of the comic hobby. 
or the statue hobby. Maybe I chose the wrong hobby. All right, just wanted to share this with you, and I'm probably going to start talking more about this stuff here. It's really interesting. I hope you find it interesting. And a shameless plug for me and my channel. Please, if you're not subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell so you get notifications. A lot of contests coming up as soon as I get back home, folks. You do not want to miss out. And the only way you're going to know about what's going on with the contest is if you get notifications by hitting that bell. Subscribe. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for supporting my channel. Trying to get to that 500 subscriber mark soon, as soon as possible. And if you want to see some of the prizes that will be coming up for my upcoming contest, I think I put the video out yesterday. Please check that out. And if anything catches your eye, that's another reason for you to subscribe. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.